guys need any sort of grinding services done on Xbox or PlayStation, up my guy Cliff2 underscore 3 on Twitter. From Devin Booker to Centerpiece Grinding, the man does it all. Hit him up for all your My Team needs. You is get your it's your boy time back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be ranking our top 10 power forwards right now in nba 2k 23 my team now just so you guys know kind of how these work okay a guy like lebron was on the small forward list a guy like tim thomas wasn't so Tim Thomas is going to be on the power forward list. LeBron is not. Okay, it's just, to me, where most people are going to play their cards. I feel like, you know, there's better small forwards than power forwards right now, which is why I made Tim a power forward. But, you know, just know if you don't see somebody on this list that is like a definite player, either one, I forgot them, or two, you know, they were on this small forward or they'll be on this center list. Now, before we dive any further into that, if you are new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 110 thousand subscribers starting the list off at number 10 we've got kuzma kyle kuzma his release is it okay there's not much else to say about the release of kyle kuzma his release is it i i i think it's hard to argue against that his release is so smooth so fast so easy to time and so easy to green now outside of that does he bring a lot to the table i mean defensively he's okay he's not bad defensively playmaking not great you're gonna have to apply unpluckable to him to make him that a little bit better but he's gonna be good at what he does and that is shooting the ball okay, okay again outside of shooting the ball how good really is he i don't necessarily think he's great but again that is my personal opinion on the card he still did make this list here coming in at number 10 at number nine we've got pink diamond chris bosh who look if you do want to run the dynamic duo makes him that little bit better i've never been a fan of chris bosh so you guys if you want to comment down below can say ty you're just biased against chris bosh because you know what guys you would be right i'm not even gonna sit here and argue i've always been biased against chris bosh why defensively the card doesn't do much for you and you guys, again, some people might be in the comments, Ty, Chris Bosh is my favorite player in my team. And I get it, because his release is good, and he's got a good three ball. But outside of those couple of things, I do think Chris Bosh is pretty limited. Again, I do like the Chris Bosh release. Maybe later in the year, we'll maybe get like a glitch Chris Bosh that can play better defense. But for right now, I'm just not super high on this card. Simply put, because defensively, he is the definition of mid, mid, mid in my team coming in at number eight a card i can't even sit here and say i've used a ton of is the diamond amari stoudemire now similar to chris bosh they're both gonna have decent three balls now obviously chris bosh is a better shooter amari's gonna be a little faster a little better in some other areas but you know amari's release is okay Chris Bosh overall is the better shooter, but they both are technically stretch bigs. The difference is Amari's going to be way better attacking the rim, whereas Chris Bosh is going to be a way better shooter. That's the difference. Offensively, they're both going to be good. It's a really kind of a preference-based thing. Amari's going to be able to handle the ball better. Now, defensively, it's again preference-based. Chris Bosh is going to be better at defending on the interior, a little bit taller, those types of things. Amari's going to be a little more agile defending on the perimeter. Now, for me, at the power forward position, give me the guy that can do a little bit of everything and personally again this is my opinion i think amari stoudemire is just a little more versatile now again a lot of people ran chris bosh in last clause and had success with him i just have never really seen it with chris bosh again but that is my opinion on things give me a amari stoudemire over him at number eight a guy that i have ahead of both of them is the diamond sean Kemp. now I'm going to compare him to Amare Stoudemire so you guys can see. These cards are eerily similar. Three ball, basically the same. Driving dunk is the same. Standing dunk, Sean Kemp does have the advantage. Defensively, very similar. I haven't really seen a lot of the Amare Stoudemire uh, as well as Sean Kemp comparisons, but they're there. They're there, guys, and, and, and I mean, they are alive and well. I prefer Sean Kemp personally because probably because i've used him more uh first things first I, i've used him more i've had a lot of success with him and so when it comes down to it who i'm gonna give the nod to is to the card i've had more success with but these cards are eerily similar i just think kemp has that slight advantage 
At number six on my list, this guy was a really hard guy to rank. We've got Dennis Rodman. Now, why was he hard to rank? Because you can argue right now in my team that Dennis Rodman is a top two defensive player in the game. Okay. Now, why do I say top two? Because I think it's hard to argue anybody better than Anthony Davis, but that is my opinion. He's still got how the fame anchor, box out, beast, rebound, chaser, and workhorse. So with those types of things, he's going to be cheesy, especially even at the power four position. He's not going to go for the mashing because he's got all those things. Now, with that being said, he's only got a 73 ball. The Patrick Ewing release, it's not as bad as it has been in past years, as, as long as it's on normal timing. Like Patrick Ewing has it on slow, which is really bad. But on normal timing, it's not that bad. The problem with Dennis Rodman is outside of defense, what else does the card really bring to the table? And your answer is not a whole lot. Like offensively, I agree, okay? Or defensively, I agree. He does a lot for you. He might be the single best defense player in my team considering he's got every badge at least on gold. There's just two sides of the court. The other side is where I do think Dennis Rodman is going to struggle. At number five, I do got Draymond Green. Now, you guys might be like, Ty, Draymond over, over a guy like Dennis Rodman. I think it's close. I just think De Draymond Green is a little more versatile. Dennis Rodman on offense cannot handle the ball. He can't really shoot that well. Whereas Draymond Green, I know his release is on slow, I believe. But he still can dribble a little bit better. He still can, you know, move and groove. He still can shoot a little bit better. I just think he provides a little bit more. Now, do I love Draymond Green? No. I still think I'd rather have a guy that can give me a little bit more offensively. Uh, but I still like him. His release is just a little slow for me. The top four are really, really, really good. We're going to start it off with James Worthy here at number four. Now, you could argue him all the way up to number three if you wanted to. I, I'm playing my number three over James Worthy, who is my number four. So that's kind of the premise of it. As far as a guy that is absolutely chick, it's James Worthy. His 83 three ball feels more like a 95. And it's crazy because th that's just the honest truth. Although it is an 83, it literally feels like a 95. Everything else about the card is solid. His defense is, I would say, mediocre. It's not great, but it is mediocre in my team. He can handle the ball decently. If you do have a fully badged out James Worthy, it's hard not to play the card. Now, again, for me, I didn't even give him quick first step, I don't think. I didn't upgrade his anchor. I haven't given him interceptor, brick wall, clamp. So for me, he's not going to be as good as if you did fully badge him out. But I love James Worthy. I, I locked him in on my account. He's a card I wish I had for last clause. I mean, he is that good in my team. At number two, it might come as a surprise to a lot of you guys, is Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis. I thought he would be the best player in my team for a really, really, really long time. And maybe at the power forward position, specifically AD is. But he's not the best player on my list. He's not. And we're going to talk about it for a little while. AD, defensively, is the single best defense uh, defense player in the entire game. I don't think many people are going to argue it. When it comes down to the defensive end of the court, there's not going to be anybody better than Anthony Davis. If you argue that, I would love to hear your argument. His player model is great. He gets in immaculate animation. He's literally Zeus defensively. The problem is there's a card by the name of Tim Thomas that gives you the whole package, but is way better offensively. Now, I get it. Anthony Davis defensively is way better. Tim Thomas' best position is that small forward position. But he's on the power forward list. It's primary power forward. So that's where we're going to talk about him. Look at this card. 95 three ball, 90 driving dunk. Standing dunk is good. Can handle the ball. Speed is perfect. Lateral quickness is fine. Hall of Fame, clamp breaker, killer combos, quick first step. Shooting badges, absolutely elite. There is no flaws with Tim Thomas. There's literally no flaws. Combine that with MJ dribble style. Francis size up, which is crazy. John Wall's size of escape is good as well. LaMelo based on quick, normal, leaner. He is the cheesiest card in the game. He's the best card in the game. That is my opinion on things. Now, for the 99% of you guys watching this video, you're going to probably have more success with Anthony Davis than Tim Thomas. But if you know what you're doing with Tim Thomas, if you know how to dribble just a little bit, if you know how to do the normal, shoot normal, leaner, standing dunks, those types of things, Tim Thomas is literally unguardable. So we're talking about the best defensive player in the game in Anthony Davis. And then the best offensive player in the game in Tim Thomas. So between those two, it's really preference based. Yesterday or two days ago when I was making this list, I was like, okay, they're both really good. 
I just think Tim Thomas is that is that little bit worse than AD. And as times went on, I'm like, no, Tim Thomas, in my opinion, is the better overall option. Again, that is my opinion on things. So you guys can let me know down below in the comments. Who do you guys think is better, Tim Thomas or Anthony Davis? I think it is really close. If you didn't see your favorite power forward on this list, such as like an Elton Brand, look, I'm sorry. I love Elton Brand, but I just can't put him quite that high on this list. Guys like Kevin McHale, Alonzo Morning, they will be on the center list as well. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are doing it. As always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.